Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Bombardier MR90. And this is an EMU that serves on the Du Montagne line in Greater Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And this is commissioned by Mark PRC. So thanks to him for making this video possible. So this is owned by EXO, I believe now, and before it was owned by AMT. So I think they did like a name change. Uh, so this is a 10 car train set. There's three types of cars that go along with this. So the first car in the train set is going to be the cab car and this is going to have a catenary on top. It's quite low and behind it there's going to be a regular uh, coach and then another one. This is like one pair and then here's another pair and then here's another pair and then this is a pair with it flipped around the other direction so the power car is in the back and then there's going to be a power car and then the last car is the third type of car and this is basically like a cab car with no uh, power so it's just like flat like that on the roof but you can see it does have the horn on top and the cab alright so I'm going to be building a base model for both types of cars the cab cars and also the middle coach so to get started on that base model so we're going to take out grey concrete and place that two blocks above the tracks and then we're going to make it so that is 39 blocks long so I'm going to stack 38 so 39 in total, and then at the ends we're going to add the gangway, so that's going to be double nether brick slab. Nether brick slabs on the sides of that. And then cobblestone wall, three blocks tall. One, two, three on the sides. And the middle on top we're going to add an upper nether brick slab like that. Now right behind it we're going to add a doorway hole with a polish and a sight like this. And then we're going to go to the back and do the same thing. So take out our nether brick slabs and place that down. And just make another gangway like we did in the front. With polished andesite door around it. Like so. Then we're going to go to um, the corner right over here and add a 2x3 of polished andesite like that. And then underneath we'd have another brick slab and then two stone brick slabs. Same thing on the other side, just add a 2 by 3 And add our slabs at the bottom. Same thing in the front. Just make a 2 by 3 right over here. Then add our another brick slab and then two stone brick slabs. Same thing on the other side. like so. It's symmetrical so far. Now we're going to add in uh, polished andesite right over here towards the top, both sides, and then three blocks wide of stone brick slabs. And then we're going to extend that all the way so it reaches the other end. And I'm going to probably weld it at this. So it should look like this. Then we would go to um, the bottom and add upside down stone brick stairs all the way across the sides in this layer. So it should look like this now. And then we're going to add the bogies down below, so go right down below. Uh, right behind this slab, we're going to take um, cyan terracotta, add the wheels, skip three blocks, add another pair, and add stone brick slabs in between the wheels. And then in the middle, we're going to have uh, stone brick stairs, right side up, and upside down facing the wheels on the other parts. Then we're going to add stone buttons on the wheels. Dark oak wood fence gate in the middle, and then a slab, an upper slab. It's going to be facing towards the center of the car. Now we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Like this, and add our stone buttons. Uh, dark oak wood fence gate in the middle, and then slab up there. Now we're going to add the same pair of wheels on the other side. So right after that uh, slab, add in our wheels. And we want to make sure there's three blocks of space in between so that we could add in our bogey and select the same thing. We just face um, our fence gate in the middle and then our upper slab towards the center of the car. And don't forget the stone buttons. That is absolutely necessary. <laughs> same thing over here. Adding in our slabs and then we're gonna add fence gate and a slab like that. And the guy who commissioned the build, he just dropped by, which is cool. 
All right, so back to the build, uh, we're gonna find the center and that's gonna be the 20th block. So you can count from either side, the 20th block inside. Underneath that 20th block, we're gonna add a row or rather a pillar of polished andesite. Skip a block of space on either side and add another pillar. And this is gonna be basically like the middle doors, same thing on the other side, like so. And right behind inside, we're gonna add in um, basically it's on the top area actually. We need to delete this block here and replace that with a stone brick slab. And the bottom area, we're gonna place two plush andesite blocks for the bottom row. And on the inside part, we need to add in uh, these two black concrete blocks for each of the windows of the doors. So it covers up like this. And then we're gonna add an additional black concrete on the outer edge like so. All right, cool. All right, for our last detail, we're gonna go down to the bogey and select the stairs that's closest to the edge and then go up and place a light gray carpet above on that polished andesite. Same thing for the other one. Just go to that outermost stairs, go up and add the vent on top like so. And that is pretty much it on how to make the base model. Now we're gonna be converting it to make uh, each type of car. All right, so to make the cap car from the base model, we're gonna take out another brick slab, go underneath and add a slab right there in the middle. And in the front, we're gonna add another slab, but it's gonna be lowered like that on the bottom. Next to it, we're gonna have two um, another brick stairs like this, another one next to it that's upside down. And that is gonna be our front pilot. On top, we're gonna replace uh, this part with like three cyan terracottas, like so. The other side, we just replace that first one with cyan terracotta. Now in the front of the cyan terracotta, we're gonna add in a dark oak wood fence gate, open that up, like so. And then we want to replace this block here on the corners with blue concrete. And also the middle area, we're gonna add a blue concrete inside like that. And we're gonna place a quartz slab in the front like so. Then we're gonna take black stained glass block, add it right here above that blue. The other side, we're gonna add another one there as well. And on this side, there's gonna be an iron bar for uh, the side view mirror. And then behind it, we need to open up with that black uh, glass pane like that. And then we'll add a glass pane right above that quartz slab in the front as well like that. Then we're gonna add in redstone torches on top like so and then we're going to add a birch button in front of the blue right there on the sides now on this side for the cap car we're going to add in it's like a little box and it says amt although amt doesn't run anymore so to do that we're going to add five polish andesite right behind this paint so one two three four five and then add the bottom row as well fill that in with polish andesite now we're going to go to the back and add polished andesite right there in the back. And then we're going to add two back to back upside down stone brick stairs like that. This is going to be at the doorway. And we're going to add banners in front so it looks cooler. But in case like somehow banners disappear or something like that, uh, the stairs are there. So you'll know that's where the doors are. So we could do the same thing on the other side like so. And after the door, we're gonna add two more polished andesite like that. All right, very cool. And now we need to add in um, the stripe that looks like that. So to do that, let's add in the stripe first. So we're gonna take out quartz and then light blue concrete and then blue concrete. So these three types of blocks, that's basically what we're gonna do. So the first one's gonna be four quartz. So one, two, three, four then two light blue concretes. Then go to the other side, add two light blue concretes here. And then blue concrete in the middle, just fill all the way across like so. Now for this part right over here, we're gonna add two light blue concretes on the edges and then blue concrete in the middle. All right, so for this corner, there's gonna be four quartz. So add that, four quartz. And then two light blue concrete blocks. Go to the other end to like blue concrete blocks and then blue concrete all the way across. 
And for this part here, this is gonna be pretty much doing the same thing that we did on the other side, just copy that same pattern. Apparently this part didn't change. And then right across in front of this blue stripe, we don't want it this thick, so what I'm doing is making it 3D. That's another building technique you guys can use. So we're gonna take stone brick slabs, go all the way across the sides, and then this makes it way thinner and it's probably more accurate. Same thing on the other side. And then the last bit right over here. All right, very cool. Now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add in the windows. So for the windows on this, let's go over here, the side with the wall. We're gonna add two black stained glass blocks. Skip one, add two, skip one, add two. Then skip one, add one. So there's gonna be a single window right next to the door. Just keep that in mind. Same thing on the other side, two. Skip one, two, skip one, two, skip one, two, skip one, one and other sides, pretty much the same thing. And once we get to the one in the front, there's gonna be, I think, an extra window, I think. So let's keep on doing that. Yeah, right here, there should be an extra window like that compared to the other side. Now for this side, we're gonna add a door here. So this is gonna be upside down, back to back, stone brick stairs. And then add two polish, or actually just one polish and site after it. And let me check, actually it goes down below. So we're gonna replace this block over here. Polish anesthetic, so apparently this thing needs to be moved. Yeah, this part needs to be moved slightly that way. So we're gonna make this four quartz and then two light blue concrete. So it looks like that. All right, so once we have all the windows down, we're gonna add polish anesthetic in between each of um, the windows for the pillars like so. And make sure you're doing this right because you don't wanna mess this up. And that should be one closest to the door and the other side same thing same thing all right very cool all right excellent so on this side this is going to be the ant writing on the side so let's add that just three blocks wide dark oak wood buttons like so all right so in the front, there's going to be the light with the horn. So we're going to replace the frontmost middle um, slab with a stone slab and delete the one behind it. And we're going to add a stone brick uh, slab underneath with a dark oak wood fence gate inside. And this is going to be the horn. And then for the other end, uh, let's add in, you know what, let's add in the door banners. So to make that, it's pretty much gonna be a black banner, light gray dye border around everything. Then we're gonna take that banner and add a two by three of light gray dye on the bottom of that. And that is pretty much it on how to build the banner. And then we're gonna have that on the sides of the doors that are two blocks wide like that. And we also want to have light gray banners down below underneath it. So it makes it look like it's really tall. So same thing on the other door. Just add in our banners. And uh, the middle uh, doors, they do not require banners since they already have like a block there. All right, so let's add in some more buttons on the sides. Let's take in um, stone button. And for this side, we're going to add one on top one in the bottom, and then another one over here, that's birch um, button. And there's gonna be another birch button right next to this door down here. And let's add a dark oak wooden button right above this banner for a number here. Now for the other side, let's see what that's like. It's gonna be uh, a birch wooden button up here. Then in the middle, there's going to be uh, stone buttons above and below and then the next one over here birch one button and I believe that's yeah that's apparently it and then we're going to add a dark oak wood button above this door like that all right so next let's add in I guess the catenary on top or the pantograph I mean so to do that we're going to skip two blocks and then we're going to add three um, what is this? <laughs> Another brick fence like that. 
and we do need to add in uh, stone brick slabs underneath uh, the fences like that and let's also make an L shape like that and add a skull and skull right over here alright so once we have that let's add some more fences so there's gonna be three blocks wide another brick slabs in the middle so kinda looks like a plus sign now and then there's gonna be dark oak wood fence gates on the side fences like so and in front of that there's gonna be three blocks wide of this uh, dark oak wood fence or dark oak wood trap door I mean and add dark oak wood fence gates on the sides of it and open that up looks like a giant chocolate bar and then we're going to add in um, this quartz slab and that's going to be right in front of this bar so quartz slab sticking out and then we're going to add in these two uh, spruce trap doors like that diagonally from that uh, slab so next we're going to go adjacent to this trap door and add a stone brick stairs facing the back like that and then we're going to make uh, 11 stairs so this is going to be the first one so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and make the left one facing the front so it kind of curves like that and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side like so and then we're going to add in um, well we're going to skip this uh, stairs right there and then add another stairs on the inner part facing each other and then we're going to add one in the middle so it connects like that. Same thing on the other side. So just skip one, add a stairs right here, facing each other. And another one in the middle like that. And then once we have that, we're going to turn the middle area into bedrock. So I'm just going to be using world edit like that. And yeah, we're going to add in these iron trap doors. And then this is actually going to be a block of space in between of that and uh, like a carpet we placed earlier and that's going to go all the way across to whatever that box is I don't know what it is maybe it's like a giant battery or some kind of a fan I don't know how uh, EMUs work because I'm not an engineer so once we do that we're going to add in um, some more untrap doors they're going to be uh, right after that dark oak wooden button and it's going to go, we want to delete that carpet and go all the way back towards the front. Same thing on the other side. So it looks like this so far. So let's work on the bottom. Let's go on this side. Skip one block away from the bogey and add in two dark oak wooden fence gates in the middle. Then we're going to go on the outer edge and add a stone brick slab. This segment's going to be seven long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to skip three blocks, so one, two, three, and then we're going to add in, uh, let's see, nether brick slabs. So there's going to be three blocks, actually two blocks, never mind. And then we're going to skip three blocks, so one, two, three, and add in two uh, stone brick slabs and then two nether brick slabs. Then the other side, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out nether brick slab, go right after that fence gate on the outer edge, add six nether brick slabs. Then we're gonna add a stone slab and then a stone brick slab. Then we're gonna skip one and add nether brick slab then two stone slabs and then skip two and add stone slab and then two nether brick slabs like so then we're going to go to the back and add three blocks wide nether brick slabs down below and on the outer, upper part we're going to add two acacia wooden buttons on top like that and we're also going to add in an iron door inside for the gangway area so that's how you make the cab car that's also a power car. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, the cab car without anything on top. So pretty much what we're going to do, do the same exact thing, but we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And um, yeah, let's do that. So there we have it, the other cab car. I do the same exact thing. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything on the roof that is not supposed to be there. So pretty much get rid of that brick on top. Now it looks like this. And we're just going to be covering that up with uh, stone brick slabs all the way across. And I'm just going to be world editing that in. Like so. Now we're left with this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add in the other vent that we deleted before and that's going to line up with the outermost stairs. Go up, add our light gray uh, carpet like that. Once we do that, we're going to go on this side and replace this birch wooden button with a dark oak wooden button. And then also on the bottom area, we're just going to completely purge everything, all these little boxes in the middle of the bogies. And this one's going to be a bit different. So let's work on the bottom. We're going to go to the side with the cab, go underneath the bogey, skip two blocks away from the bogey, and add in two dark oak wood fence gates. Skip one, add another two. And then we're going to go to the other side, skip one block away, add in uh, four stone slabs, then two nether brick slabs, and then two uh, stone brick slabs. And then we're going to skip one and add nether brick slab skip one add another nether brick slab now let's go on the other side and let's see what to do so on this side we're going to skip one away from the edge and add in two nether brick slabs then we're going to ask, add in uh, two stone brick slabs then skip two and add in three stone brick slabs then we're to go right over here um, after this fence gate skip a block and add another big uh, slab like that and it should look like this all right so yeah that's pretty much it on how to build the cab car uh, that has no power car stuff on top and now we're going to make the final car so we're going to take this car and what we're going to do is we're going to add in our stone buttons on the sides so let's do that there's going to be one on the top here bottom and birch right over there and the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Stone on the top and the bottom, and then birch right there on the other side. Now we're going to make in uh, the doors on the side. So to do that, we're going to take out um, polish and a site at two blocks right over here. And then two back-to-back -back, uh, stone brick stairs upside down. And a polish and a site on the edge. And do the same thing on pretty much all four corners. We're going to add in these doors other side same thing and what we're gonna do we're gonna add in the banners on top or rather on the side of these doors which are the same banners that we did before so we're gonna take that banner that we made before and we're gonna add it to the side of the doors and then add a light gray banner right underneath same thing on all four pairs of these doors and if you forgot somehow to how to make these banners you can go back in the video and watch it uh, when we were making um, the power car so we're gonna add it like that so the middle car is actually asymmetrical so you'll know which side it is uh, based on this thing right over here it's like a little extra box section so on this corner here we gonna replace this with a light gray or light blue I mean uh, concrete block and we're going to add a 2x2 two two polished uh, andesite right next to it. So then we're going to go back to this to this. <laughs> so then we're going to go back to this side and add in four um, quartz block on the inside part. Then two light blue. Go to the other side, add two light blue and then add blue concrete all the way across. Same thing on the other side. This part is pretty much going to be identical and the other side this is where stuff changes a little bit so on this side I actually need to modify it a little bit fix it up because <laughs> this thing is supposed to be different so on this side we're to go add um, actually let me check once more so we're going to add two polish and a site like this then we're going to add four quartz blocks here and then go on the other side, add two light blue concrete blocks, and then blue concrete blocks all the way across. Now the other side, that's going to be four quartz blocks here. 
Then two light blue concretes, light blue concrete on the other side, and blue concrete in the middle. Then we're going to add a row of just stone slabs all the way across in front of the stripe just to make it smaller and more accurate to the real thing. Same thing on the other side. Just add it like so. Then we would go to the ends. Actually, we need to do this thing as well. But after that, we would go to the end and add in an iron door on the sides where the gangway is. Then we're going to add in um, acacia wooden button right there on the side, like this on top. And that's not the only button. We're also going to add in uh, the number buttons and also uh, that birch wooden button. So we're going to add it above this door right over here and a birch wooden button down here. The other side, let's see what happened there. There's going to be birch wooden button inside the light blue concrete block. And there also is a birch button right next to this door and a number button on top, which is dark oak wood button. Now we're going to add in the windows. So there are going to be two blocks of black stained glass blocks. And just skip a block, add two, skip one, add two, skip one, add two, then skip one, add one in the middle. Pretty much the same thing on the other sides. And yeah, it's not much else to explain about that because that's going to be the same. And if you're doing this right, it's going to line up like it's supposed to be in real life. So once we're done with that, we're going to add polish and sight in between everything. Like so. And my mouth is getting pretty... My throat is getting pretty scratchy. I wish I had like a glass of water, but I don't. Just need to finish the video, which I'm pretty close to finishing it off. So once we're done adding in the pillars, like so. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add in the bottom. And I think we're going to call it a day. So we're going to go to the ends and add in three nether brick slabs, like that. Same thing on the other side. And the boxes on the bottom for this car is actually the same thing that we did on the car with, that is not a power car. That's just a cab car. So we're going to do that again. We let's go to uh, this side here. Just skip two blocks away from that bogey and then add two um, dark oak wood fence gates like that. Skip one, add another two. And then we're going to skip one and then add one right over here. Skip one, add one here. And actually on this side, never mind, this part's actually going to be on the other side. So once you get to this slab, skip one, add one here. And then skip one and then add two uh, stone slabs, and then two nether brick slabs, and then four light gray slabs. Or what am I saying? This is supposed to be a uh, stone slab. Now go go to the other side and let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, just skip one block away from this bogey, add two nether brick slabs, then two stone brick slabs, then skip two and then add three stone brick slabs and yeah that's pretty much it on how to build this so yeah i believe that's pretty much it on how to build the amt bombardier m90 uh, emu which is now owned by exo and thanks to mark prc for commission this build if you guys enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button down below and if you want a commission uh just check out my self i store which is on my youtube page but anyways guys I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.